Hi, I'm Ashy. Welcome to my January alphabet painting series. So this year I decided to choose a New Year's resolution that I feel like is actually doable. And that is to, for the first six, the first 26 days of the year, to paint a small, quick watercolor sketch that corresponds with the letters of the alphabet. This will help me be disciplined and help me paint daily for this first you know, month or so. And hopefully this will help me also build that habit of creativity and just pulling out the paints every single day. And it's just building that habit of creativity. Uh, let me know if you have any New Year's resolutions that you are deciding on for yourself this year. I'd love to hear your different ideas in the comments. So for each of these videos, I'll be using the brand new sketchbook that I'm starting this year. Um, it's Moleskin watercolor album. It's not the highest quality paper, but for quick watercolor sketches, it does the job. All right, day five, and today it is raining where I am, so you might hear some of that and some acorns falling from our trees onto our roof, but it is very nice. I love it, love the sound. But today is day five, E for egg. And so I'm gonna start by sketching out, um, just cause the perspective of this might be a little bit tricky. Um, I'm trying to get kind of a low angle of an egg on a plate. So I'm also gonna try to make it slightly bigger again so I don't have this tiny like my car was super tiny okay so I'm starting with the yolk just getting that drawn in and then we're just gonna get like a little bit of a wavy edge here on the egg okay and then the plate kind of the same thing where you don't see the back part of the egg, we're not gonna see the back part of the plate. Okay. And then we have kind of like the rim of the plate here. And I'm also trying go a little bit faster on this one because my other ones have been kind of longer than I had planned on spending on these. Um, so just trying to go a little bit faster. Okay, so on the plate, what I find is if I do this rim kind of in the back and then just continue it down like another oval, it kind of looks like the bottom of the plate there. And that's kind of how I've worked on getting the perspective of a plate. Okay, and that's it for the drawing. So now, gotta get my eraser out. And just lighten that up. So again, I just kind of roll it to lighten it. And then if any spots are a little bit extra dark I just dab it and it makes that funny noise because it kind of sticks to the page and then lifts up some of the extra graphite okay now for painting it so this is gonna be mostly kind of yellows oranges grays a little bit of brown for around the edge and I'm gonna use a small brush for this one. So this is, again is my size zero brush. And I'm gonna start by doing a light wash here of yellow, cause that will help me keep some highlights on the um, yolk. And then I'm just mixing in some orange here so that I can get some wet on wet okay dry out my brush get some of that yellow and just get that on the yolk Okay. 
and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the orange and drop it in. on this left side to get a color bleed to kind of make it look shadowed there. And then I'm just going to kind of keep building up that orange color. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. And you can see that nice highlight right here where I'm lifting just a little bit of the paint. And then I just want to add the smallest touch of blue to it to get a little bit more of a grayish brown orange color. And that's going to be my darkest shadow color. And then dry my brush or rinse and dry and just kind of touch those edges. I'm not trying to introduce a bunch of water here, just touching those edges to get it to bleed out. And I'm super happy with that, so I'm not going to touch it anymore. And now I'm going to go in and do the gray shadow on the plate. And I want it to be kind of a true gray. Um, not really a bluish gray, maybe even more of a warmer gray. So just adding a tiny bit of brown to the black to get a little bit of a warmer gray. And then we're going to put the shadow on this bottom part of the plate. And then just a tiny bit also around the edge of the egg itself. And that will help lift the egg up off of the plate just a little bit. and to find the edges of the egg also. Okay, and then a little bit of a shadow here where the plate changes shapes. And that one is gonna be a softer one. So bleed that, blend that out just a little bit so that's not a hard edge. And then just generally, I'm going to kind of blend out just a little bit of that gray into the plate itself. And then go in and add slightly more shadow under this rim. And then we need to add a shadow under the plate. So this one I'll go ahead and do a little bit more of this like bluish gray. And 
and just kind of touch it and that will give it just enough separation between the colors with the shadowy plate and the shadow on the surface. Okay, tiny bit more gray for the back part of the plate. And then we're just going to add the smallest amount of splatter. So I'm using this small brush because I want to make it look like there's some pepper on it and this might completely screw it up. I don't know. Just the tiniest dots. And it might even need to be a little bit more concentrated. So doing the watered down splattering didn't really work because it wasn't concentrated enough and it just looked a little too gray. Okay. Now, paper towel. Because some of those just are a little too big. There's my egg. That was super fast. <laughs> so that was the goal. So I succeeded in my goal. Now to write my E, let's do brown. Calligraphy again, egg. So light up, heavy down, E, heavy down, G, light up, heavy down, light up, G, heavy down. Heavy down, light up, egg. Okay, that's pretty good. Definitely getting better there. So there is day five, E is for egg. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to see when each of my new videos drops. Have an awesome day.